Now for example 1, let us now try to sketch the graph of y is equal to 2 cosine x minus 1 for the domain of um, 0 to 2 pi. Alright, how are we going to do that? Well, let us uh, fire up our software, graphing software, Graphmatica. Okay, and uh, now what I want to do is of course um, not to just simply key in this equation and then uh, show you the graph. What I want you to be able to do is to be able to transform the basic cosine curve Alright, into 2 cosine x minus 1. Alright, and uh, as mentioned earlier on, all, right, all the transformation that you have learned, okay, you have to learn to apply because in the examination or in the test, there is no such thing as this software to help you. So, what's the first thing that you should do? Well, the first thing that you should be able to do would be to, to sketch, okay, y is equal to cosine x, the basic one. Alright, so let's plot y equal to cosine x from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so this is the basic curve that uh, we are also familiar with, right? So this is our cosine curve. Now, very simple. Every one of you should remember this by now. Now, the next thing that we want to do, okay, we want to multiply it by 2. All right, always remember we do it from the ratio outwards. Okay, what it means is that uh, we'll sketch the mother curve first. Okay, we sketch the original curve first, the cosine curve. And from there, we'll sketch the 2 cosine x. So what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to add um, multiply the 2. Okay, so from this curve, from the blue color curve, from the first curve, right, this is our cosine x. And to the second curve, this is our 2 cosine x. As you can see, the maximum point now is 2 and the minimum point now is negative 2. Okay, so we must be able to um, sketch this blue curve, the first curve, and transform it into the second curve, of which is, is the 2 cosine x. The next thing is, of course, what we're going to do, we're going to minus 1. And as per what we discussed earlier on, minus 1 is simply a transformation that will shift the curve entirely downwards by 1. So um, this is precisely what you get. Okay, so the green color curve, as you can see here, is actually a translation okay, of movement downwards by 1. As you can see, every y value, every point, is now shifted down by 1 because of this minus 1. Okay, so this is what you have to be able to do in order to do well in the exam. Okay, there's no graphing software to help you in the exam. Okay, so you must be able to sketch this on your own. Okay, and of course the final answer you should simply uh, leave the green color curve as your final answer. Okay, now what is important to take note of is show the final curve, all right, with all the important information such as the minimum point. So in this case, uh, the minimum point will be at pi x is pi and y is negative three. Okay, and of course as well as the maximum point which is at 0 1 and of course 2 pi and 1. Right, in this case the x intercept is not as uh, clear because the x intercept is not a special angle so well you can actually skip that normally. Okay? So in the sketch um please remember the minimum standard you have to show the x y axis, you have to show the asymptote if there's any, you have to show the x y intercept, okay? And you have to show the maximum minimum point here. All right? So your final answer should look just simply like this, okay? Of course, uh, including all the necessary points that I mentioned earlier on.